session with the champion principal and today we're going to talk about school cultures and climates that is one of the hardest things for administrators to accomplish school cultures and climates and I know some of you all are thinking well what makes you such an expert at school culture and climate because I've been there and I've done it um, if, if, you, if you look at the schools that I've been part of we have made those changes quick um, even as a principal one thing we were able to do in a short amount of time we change the culture and the climate at our particular school. So I know you're saying, hey, so what do you do? What do you do? So here's some things that I suggest. First of all, you have to look at your clientele. Look and see what the needs of your clientele, your students, your community, see what the needs are for your school. That's the first thing. If you do not know and understand the needs of your school and your demographics, it's gonna be hard for you to reach them because you're trying to reach them, you're trying to pull them in. And you can't do one without the other. You have to reach the students, the teachers, and the entire community. See what the needs of the community may be. So, the first thing you have to do, be positive. One of the, you know, I, I see principals and I, some superintendents, they talk about culture and climate and they forget one thing. You have to be positive. That's the beginning of everything. You have to have a positive mindset, not only with your students that come inside of the classrooms every day, you have to be positive with the parents. The parents have one of the biggest mouthpieces of all time. Either they will help you or they will break you. Either they will be at the barber shop saying how great your school is, or they will be at the beauty shop saying how awful the school is. So principals, make sure you take the time to talk to the parents. They don't always need an appointment. Try to squeeze them in, make time having conversations with them. See how you can provide different resources to them. Like one thing that we have is a job board, provide jobs for them, provide assistance for them when they need assistance. All of this is part of the buy-in process because you're gonna need your parents to help you have a successful school. Be positive. When those little boys and girls come through the doors every day, Speak to them. Good morning. How are you doing today? Give them a high five. Give them a hug. If you look at many schools around America today, uh, a lot of times there's nobody standing out front. There's nobody standing in the bus line. There's nobody on duty. There are no smiling faces. And one thing I'm proud of in my particular school is in the morning time, even in the evening time, there's someone standing outside greeting our boys and girls, paying attention to their needs, saying hello, how you doing? Hey, are you gonna be a champion today? We need you to be a champion today. Giving them positive affirmations, speaking to the parents as they drive by, standing at the bus lane waiting on them, and also you got the principal standing out front greeting people as well. That's what it's all about. That's where it all starts. And also, if you have a marquee out front, make sure you have something positive on your marquee, on your sign, on our particular sign, the school where champions are made. How could you not get pumped up about that? We are trying to create and make and build champions. That's the mentality, not at just my school, but at all school. You want to make sure that you are creating a champion mindset, you're building them up, and you're giving them the resources that they may need. Be positive. Being positive will get you a long way, and it will help you build those relationships with those boys and girls. They don't want nobody who's always nagging and being negative to them. You really think they're going to be able to read fluently if they don't like you? Think about that. Kids do not learn from people that they do not like. Think about it. If they don't like you, they're not going to learn from you. Think on that. Be positive. Next, what is, next when you're talking about culture and climate, of course it starts with the administrator, then with the teachers, and then it's what you teach your boys and girls. Kind of like when we talked about Docs 5, teaching them to be, to have character, leadership, and all of that. 
It's the same thing. So you want to keep putting that in their head all throughout the day. Everybody in the building has to be on the same page pushing this positive mindset. Now, just because you're being positive does not mean that you lower your expectations. You can be positive, but still have the highest expectations. See, expectations are great. Make the boys and girls believe that they can meet those expectations. Being positive and supporting them don't mean you lower your expectations. That means, no, you can do more because we're taking care of you. We're taking away some of that baggage. So now you're ready to learn and to learn at the highest level. So when you're creating this positive environment, it's the same thing as it's like creating your brand. What is your school known for? What is your brand? Is it Docs 5? Is it Leader in Me? Is it the Champs program? Everything, your whole DNA should be running through that school through your brand. What do your school stand for? What does it mean? What's on your t-shirts? What's on your car signs? Everything should be on one accord when you're building that brand and having that positive environment, creating that culture. The culture also starts in the front office. All right, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about this, but some of our front offices need to change. What do parents and kids see when they come to the front office? Do they see people in the front office yapping, complaining, eating donuts, uh, sitting around gossiping or whatever the case may be? Or do they see a professional office staff with just the office staff and the teachers are in their classrooms teaching? It matters. Go look at your office. I'll tell you what your climate looks like if you let me see your front office. It should be a professional front office. We should be talking professionally and we should be greeting parents, taking care of students' needs. That's what a front office should look like. And as you travel through your school, what do you see in your school? Do you see reminiscences of Docs 5? Or do you see other different ideas and programs going on? Make sure that when you come inside that school, when you go inside those classrooms, you see those expectations, those same high expectations in every single classroom. Classroom 17 needs to, need to be similar to classroom 18. One classroom cannot just be so awesome and the other classroom is not so awesome. We should see some of the same positive behaviors in all classrooms. We all on one accord at all times. Create an environment that's welcoming to parents. Parents should be welcome to come to the school. I'm not saying come up and beat on teachers, beat up on teachers or anything, but they should be welcome to come to classrooms and actually see some of the great instruction and build partnerships with those different classrooms. If you want to create a positive culture as well, get the community and partners involved. One of the things that we've been able to do, we're thankful, we have people like the University of Alabama, Stillman College, different businesses, they all play a role in what we do here at our particular school. Um, some, yeah, they give us financial support, but they also are part of what we call Champions Reads. So we have a reading program, and it's so amazing when you see people from all over the community, from different walks of life, when they come in and they're actually serving as role models to our boys and girls, they're serving as mentors to our boys and girls, and they also participate in the reading initiative with our boys and girls. How cool is that to have somebody from the University of Alabama uh, who's a professor and they come and read with you on every Wednesday? We have that right here in our building. We have all types of people, whether it's from um, Allstate Insurance Agency, whether Michelle Coley, who actually owns her own um, insurance agency, she comes in, she reads to the boys and girls, she provides different slushies to reward them. She has a reading pays program just to motivate our boys and girls. All those great partnerships help create a positive culture. Now, that sounds easy. It's hard changing cultures. It's hard getting the partnerships, convincing people to come in to support the work that you do. It's very difficult to get your whole entire staff on the same page. It's hard being positive every day when you may be stressed out about different issues and uh, different expectations that you have on your back. But you have to remember why you are there. Why are you there? And you are there to educate children and to motivate them to excel at the highest levels. So you have to believe in them to make sure that you understand that they can be successful. You do it in a welcoming way. Be positive. Create partnerships. Be visible. Just a few pointers. Hopefully it helped you guys.
Thank you.